so nice. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I have another 3D printed RC boat project coming your way. So let's get started. It's 460 millimeters tall, so the CR-10S5 was really the only printer that could manage to print this as just one continuous print. Printed with a 0.5 millimeter nozzle and a 0.3 millimeter layer height, the print did turn out quite decent, I would say, and it's and just the fact that it's not based on segments that you glue together just makes it so much stronger and less likely of ending up in the bottom of the lake. Now what I do love about this boat is the fact that it has a jet propulsion system so rather than having the propeller on the outside it has a propeller inside the hole spinning and taking water here and pushing it out faster this way and so propelling the boat forward. And you will have this bracket connected to a servo to modify the angle of the stream to turn the boat left and right. The motor mount I did have to design myself. I couldn't find an appropriate motor for this project, so I took one out of my RC cars. It's a fairly high KV motor, and uh, I intend to glue this portion of the motor mount to the frame. Th that's kind of a suboptimal solution, but that's just how it ended up being. And I also did 3D print this coupler. It's a converter that makes the 3D printed part fit perfectly on the shaft of the motor and I'm gonna have the other end connected to uh, the propeller, which oh, by the way is also 3D printed. I just took some sandpaper and uh, painted it silver to make it stylish. And when it comes to the electronics, I, I plan to use the same stuff as we used on the RC airboat, because why not reuse the electronics? So we have the electronic speed controller that obviously is waterproof, it's, it's completely waterproof, you can submerge it into the water, uh, as well as the receiver, we did put some silicone to protect it from the water in the RC airboat video, you can watch it up here. And uh, of course the transmitter, and that's basically it. I do have all the batteries up here, and we can choose from either three cell or four cell batteries. Yeah, I think that's it, so let's get building. At this point I am ready to at this point I am ready to install all the other stuff like the rudder and the back just like so and well before let's take this first the epoxy that I did complete waste of time I messed up big time all you have to do is put a tube just like I showed you going from here to the point where the motor is going to get installed up here all the way to uh, to the bottom section here I uh, just put a tube that is uh, the same size as the shaft that you have the propeller on and make sure it's very close otherwise water will get in and I'm hoping uh, because the, the play is very very small and I'm hoping that grease will be able to hold the water off. I'm not sure about that. It's a, it's a bold move. So at this point we are ready to install the motor into the boat and the shaft is going to be placed in the motor just like so and uh, then the uh, back part, the, the shaft is going to kind of rest inside that part and it's going to look something like this. I hope that makes sense. Let's do it. Now it's 
time for steering and uh, we want to have the rudder turn left and right just like so and we're gonna have a 9 gram servo operating that mechanism so I had to 3D print a mount uh, for the boat to have a, a servo holder so let's get it yeah it's pretty nice Steering. Am I gonna get like millions of views because I have the cat in the video? Back to the boat. So I made a 3D printed mount for the battery and uh, it's keeping the battery in place. That's all I'm asking for it. Uh, I made another 3D printed case for the receiver. So now I will be able to epoxy it to the frame itself. Uh, I made a little hole for the antenna. I'll do some testing in the bathtub and if everything checks out, I'll uh, hit the waters. Yup, I got myself a raft. Me and a buddy built this a couple of weeks ago and it's just made out of two enormous foam blocks and then we have two sheets of plywood and a frame around it. It's as simple as it gets. I bought the cheapest motor, the cheapest battery and uh, I mean, it works. A couple of things I'm worried about to say the least. First of all, can I just say that it looks freaking amazing? Absolutely beautiful. So a couple of things I'm worried about is the fact that we have ports that should not be 3D printed 3D printed, you know, such as the propeller, the, the coupler uh, between the motor shaft and uh, the propeller shaft. We have this like 3D printed adapter. I just think that some of these parts will eventually break uh, if that's today or uh, 10 years from now, I don't know. Just the fact that the motor mount is 3D printed, the battery holder, the servo mount, the, the case for the receiver, so much of this is 3D printed, which makes it kind of cool, I like it. Uh, but it does make me worried as well. Um, but I think it will have enough power. I'm, I'm using a three cell battery. Steering is very locked in. Nevertheless, let's see how it does in the water. So uh, let's go. Oh, by the way, I have to show you the best part. So flashback to Mythbusters. Back in the days, duct tape rope totally works. All right, this is the 3D printed RC jet boat with jet propulsion. So let's see how it goes. Twelve seconds later. All right, I just uh, okay. I just want to make sure there isn't too much water, which there appears to be no water leaking in. So that's working. Another GoPro not working. <laughs> oh wow, that works so well. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the camera so you can see better. There's so much power. There's so much power. And the turn radius is nothing. It's so smooth. Wow, that's like one third of throttle. Wow, it's so nice! It's so nice to drive! Oh well, there we go. Mm. 
man. Okay, so here's what happened. There is a coupler or basically an adapter for the motor shaft and the propeller shaft. Because the propeller shaft, I believe, is uh, four millimeters and the uh, motor shaft is three millimeters. Now, you need a coupler to connect the two. And usually they are made out of brass or, or something much harder and, and more tough than, than plastic PLA. And, uh, and it simply gave out, which made the motor shaft spin, but not the propeller shaft. And so not propelling the boat forward by pushing water. But man, did you see like the potential power? I was using a maximum of one third throttle. Like it has a lot of power. So I was so curious to see how fast we could get this going. Wait, I'm gonna turn around again. Steering worked perfectly, it turned so well and uh, I didn't seem to have any radio control interference or, or any problems on that area either. The motor was completely cool, the EC was completely cool, so you don't need water cooling. Alright, enough talk, have an awesome day, I'll see you again very very soon and have an awesome day, I've already said that, but I'm gonna say it again, have an awesome day, bye.